Well, live shows have returned to the valley. For the first time ever in Phoenix, the Zuzu African Acrobats are performing on stage this weekend at the Madison Center for the Arts. Of course, we had to send Team 12's Jen Wall out there for a special sneak peek. Are you getting involved in some of this, Jen? I heard you earlier say so you might get on stage. Absolutely. Good morning to you, Ryan. We are finally on stage with the Zuzu African Acrobats. Okay, now they have an umbrella with a spinning bowl on top. I can barely hold an umbrella in my kitchen, walking from my fridge to my stove. I am so impressed this morning. These guys have been performing together for years. They start training when they are very, very young, now performing across the world. So I've been hanging out with Amiri here. He's yes. the group director. Good morning. Thank morning. you so much for getting oh, up early with us. Thank you for having us here. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, so I think the most fascinating thing from talking with you is yes. tell me about when you're little. How do you decide that you want to do this? Well, yeah, when we were little, as I say, we're coming from a little town called Bagamo. It is a historical town surrounded by art, and we have the biggest college of art there. So among us, some of our parents, they are teachers, you know. So by growing up and see all these shows, and we have biggest festivals, so we've been seeing a lot of artists come in and out. So, you know, it's inspired us to become who we are today, you know, to be able to <laughs> um, performing. So... You know, we start in the early age, you know, so when we see all these shows, we feel like, oh, yeah, this is what we want to do, and nobody forces us to do what we are doing. So it's automatically because of the town itself, surrounded by art. So, you know, we start doing it. You that know? is yeah, yeah, so yeah. amazing. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, how long does it take to learn some of these tricks? He's oh, got his legs behind his head. Yeah, so it depends. For him, it took him like <laughs> seven years oh to be able to gosh. do that. But some people, you know... <laughs> As, as much you do uh, practice and hit the gym every day and exercise, that is how you can do it so, you know, quick, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So okay. for him, it takes seven years. <laughs> Thank you, Amiri. All right, seven years to learn how to wrap your legs behind your head, guys. And, hey, you might be able to pull it off by going to the gym here or Pilates, I hear. So Amiri also told me that back where they're from in Tanzania, they either decide from very young if they want to be a fisherman uh, yeah. or if they want to be an acrobat. And, of course, being a part of this group, they get to travel around the world. They were a part of Africa's Got Talent. They performed in more than 25 countries. And you can get tickets for shows this weekend, tonight, and tomorrow here at the Madison Center for the Arts. There's so much more I could say, but I got to send it back to the studio now. And we'll be live again at 645. And I'm hoping, Ryan and Rachel, that I'll be able to learn how to do some of this, too. I don't think I get my head or my leg behind my head, though. <laughs> do not underestimate yourself, Jen. But don't hurt yourself, either. <laughs> it's, you have to stretch. <laughs> That's the key, really. I don't think stretching. Okay, I'm, st I'm starting. Near what this guy's doing. <laughs> <laughs>